what what can I say? I'm speechless right now. I got Coach McNair sitting next to me. Coach, man, love you. My favorite coach in the swag. We were talking some beforehand, and I, I do absolutely love everything that you you stand for and what you got going on at Alcorn State. Great to meet you face to face. How's the, the media day treating you so far? Man, it's great, man. It's always good to, to be around great coaches and, and the great young men they bring from their, their university to come out and, and be a part of uh, media day and, and kind of give them a, um, a background of, of uh, what their team going to look like and all that kind of stuff. And I'm enjoying it so far, man. I think Dr. McClellan and his SWAC office does a great job of, of putting this on with all the media tables and stands and everything out here. Man, it's unbelievable. You know, make you feel like this, this, this is going to be a, a premier uh, conference. And uh, that, that's what Dr. McCullough is looking for, man, is, 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 is this, this type of atmosphere is for media day. How many SWAC media days have you done so far? What is this for you? Do you know? I think about seven. So from that first SWAC media day to today, if I told you that this is what SWAC media day would become, if I told you that not only was SWAC media day going to become this, but the SWAC conference is going to grow in the ways that it have, that, that first SWAC media day, would you have believed it? It's been, it been kind of rough to, to sell that to me, but, but man, this is unbelievable the way it has grown since my first SWAC media day. Didn't have a whole lot of cameras, didn't have a whole lot of, of um, TV, and, and uh, this, this, this is what it feels like to, to be on the, on the platform of a premier conference like the SWAC, man, and just seeing all these people here, man, and getting a chance to mingle around and, and know them all, and, and that's the biggest thing, you know. Um, the SWAC office is, is putting together one of the biggest things I've ever been a part of uh, in football life is a, is a media day like this. Absolutely, absolutely. So on the field, we sat down with uh, Jarvion Howard earlier, SWAC newcomer of the year last year. What is it about his game that makes him such an effective rusher? I'll tell you what, you should see the way he practices. Uh, that carries over into the game. He practices just as hard uh, that he rushes in the game. So that's one thing about him. He's a very respectful young man. And he's got a football IQ of over a million, probably. Um, he knows the sport. So he want, to, he want everybody surrounding him to be better. You know, even the running backs at the position, you know, he wants them to push him. You know, that's what it helps out a lot. And it makes it so easy on a running back coach like Coach Boots to, to teach a room like that when he don't care how many carries he get. He just want to win and make the people around him better. Every team, even though it's the same program, same head coach, same general uh, system, but every team in college football from year to year is, is different. What's the, the difference in this year's version of Alcorn State versus last year and some of the, the years previous? You know, the biggest thing is, you know, executing, man, and, and, and scoring points is a major deal, and especially in the conference. Uh, you have to score points to win, and you always have to stop people from scoring points to win. But the biggest deal is that is, is we – we went out and made some transition during the offseason to, to address some of the positions that we really, really need to address to make us better this year. And I think that's one thing that we're going to overcome than what we had last year, that some of the guys in the position we didn't have uh, last year. You seem to me on the outside looking in, first time meeting you, Coach, you seem like you eat, breathe, drink, sleep football. But I'll take football away. How do you like to, to spend your time? What are some of the, the other things outside of the football field that you like to do to kind of unwind and, and hang out? Well, I used to say fish, but my brother, they do all the fishing for me so and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But, but football is me, and I, I, I take the time out to go out and paint my own football practice field. I got two and a half practice fields out to paint during the course of the year. Uh, each and every day, that's my, that's my kickback and relaxation time. And, and I can think about things I need to do to make this team better, to make these kids do better in classes and, you know, and develop a coaching staff. You know, there's always coaching leaving and going. It's a, it's a revolving door. Uh, even now with the transfer portal, you know, you got to think about if this kid leave, what we're going to do? Will we go to the transfer portal or we allow the recruiting uh, season to come around? But the coach does a real good job of, of communicating with, with me in, in terms of what they really need, and, and I try to make it my best to, to, get them with, to provide them what they need to, to be successful because, you know, these coaches want things and they need stuff. And uh, as a head coach, that is your job. You're the provider. And, um, that's one of the things that we mentor the young men. Uh, we provide for them and, and help them be better young men when they leave Alcorn State. Coach, thank you so much for your time, man. I, I appreciate it. Take care. Uh, stay tuned for more from Swack Media Gaze on HBCU Huddle.